Wind and rain caused trouble for some people overnight. On Northeast Marine Drive and 223rd Avenue, a downed tree blocked the road and caused a crash. Another tree came down and blocked the road on Southeast Thorburn Street. That's where we find Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom. He spoke to some neighbors about what they saw. Uh, Jeffrey, what are you hearing? Well, Anna, up on that hillside over that way and into the branches is where neighbors say that down tree hit and fell, which I understand struck a power line and closed the street fully for a time and eventually opened back up late this afternoon. And neighbors tell me they walked out of their homes around 8 or 9 in the morning to the site. We saw the tree laying across the road. It sort of broke off and it just fell across. It grabbed a power line. And uh, it blocked the road completely. This tree falling is just one of two weather-related incidents we're aware of early Saturday morning. As in northeast Portland off Marine Drive, video captures another down tree, which led to an accident, prompting a response from the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office, maybe due to an impeded traffic pattern, where you can see some cars and trucks are forced to navigate around the branches and debris. Incidents like this are something Cindy Fontenot has become awfully familiar with, living in Portland for nearly the last decade. Probably about twice a year. There's a lot of trees in this neighborhood, so. And her neighbor a few doors down, Larry Crawl, has been here since 1988 and knows the weather can lead to this kind of thing, too. We've had some pretty interesting ice storms, snowstorms. And so when there's weather, they're really susceptible to falling. It appears the tree fell somewhere around this area, and Crawl says he and some neighbors did their best to warn drivers of the pending hazard by placing down things like cones, but he says many drivers opted to pass right by them. Kept clogging up the street and then having to turn around and come back out, so it was it was kind of a headache. Crawl and Fontenot say this tree knocked out power for a few homes, an experience both of them understand. We've been without power for six days, seven days. And knowing that it can happen at any time, both keep as prepared as they can be. Crawl's got a backup generator and Fontenot has an emergency kit on hand. Candles, um, flashlights, hand warmers, um, blankets, just everything we might need to be comfortable for a couple hours and a couple days. If you prepare over the years, you know, you find the weak spots in your system and you go ahead and try to, you know, beef that up a little bit. You know, you just make the best of it. Both neighbors say they're thankful the city got this mess cleaned up quick, which is a mess Crawl says is the nature of the beast living in Portland, encouraging people to maintain their optimism through the windy and wet season. And I think uh, you'll get through it, even if you're without power for a week. You will get through it. Some closing thoughts from the two. Crawl recommends talking to your neighbors to be familiar with what they've experienced over the time they've been living there to make sure you're ready to handle what the elements just might bring. And Fontenot suggests having an arborist come by and uh, take a look at uh, those trees near your home. Reporting live uh, from Southeast Portland, I'm Jeff Limblum for Fox 12 Oregon. All right, Jeffrey, thank you. And you can stay connected with the Fox 12 News app. You can get the latest forecasts, live radar, and the latest road conditions all on the go. And the app is free to download.